Now let's see together how to how to develop or how to code the, the login part. So let's start with the HTML part and also the TS because we will need both of them. So here we have we use like a material card. So I will also do like a, a live display for this. So this one, this or this white rectangle is a material card. Now we have the material card header, this one, and we have this text login, which is here. Um, now we have the content, the card content, which is this part where we have the, the email and password. And we use for this, it's a form for, uh, of course, and we use for this uh, the math form field, the material form field. And just to remind you, all of those modules are here. Uh, the material card, the math card module, it's here, checkbox, chips, and so on and so forth. So just to, to remind you. So here we use uh, the math form field uh, and this example hold with just just only to make it uh, to make it uh, full screen if I change uh, the width for example if I make it uh, here as a web application uh, so it's going to take the width of all uh, the parent or all the components. So here we have uh, the email the, and the password. We have also two we have also the math card actions and we have two buttons uh, which are the login and the subscribe when we click on the login we will do something and when we click on the subscribe we will do another thing also there is uh, there is an important part which is the uh, the app alert to do which is this one when i click on login here we need to display the error messages and I will show you how we how we can do it. So and then I will uh, also I will in the in the login uh, part I will explain to you how this how this to do uh, to do alert is uh, is created and developed. It. So now um, all this part you can find you can find everything here in this website. When you go to the official website of uh, material.angular.io, you can find all those components. For example, here the card, we have uh, the overview and you have documentation. And also we have like several examples that you can take the code and, and use it your own. Also with, uh, with all the CSS and styles. So let's go back here. Now when I click login without providing anything, uh, we will display the error messages here in the uh, app to do alert and it takes as parameter the content and the alert type here so for example here we have it I the, um, the alert type is uh, error for example if I change it to warning and re update And say the color will change and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be yellow, and also it's the same for success and uh, and info. Success is green and info is blue. So let's put it back as error. So it's a general component which we can use, uh, for example, to to display information, warning, and so on and so forth. So let's go back here. Uh, here one uh, one of the uh, most important part is the mapping. Here, when we type uh, the email, when where we need to store it, so it's gonna be stored in the user dto dot email. Here, I will go to the login component. Here, I have this object, which is the um the user dto because I will need the user dto for the login part. To uh, it's the parameter for the for the login method. And also, we we have here for the password. So. When uh, when I type here test for example and test those are the, the login and password they are automatically stored here in the user DTO for the email it's gonna be the attribute email and the, uh, for the password it's gonna be the attribute password 
as we can see in the definition of the user BTO. It's going to be uh, email and password. So now we have also those two buttons, the login and subscribe. For the login, when I click on the login here, I have my function here or my method here, which will do the login and the subscribe. It's like a, a simple one, which will do a navigation or a redirection to the subscribe page. And here we need to add the router. It's only on the constructor. We need to add the router from the Angular slash router. So this is the subscribe. It's the simple direction. And for the login, I have user service. I created a service. It's here. It's in this package. I will explain it later. Uh, we have the service.login and we pass as a parameter the user DTO. And then we subscribe. This is the subscription method. That means I will invoke this login method. And when I get the data or the response, I want to execute this one. The, uh, this treatment or this uh, this logic. So here in the subscription, we have we can have one or uh, more uh, return uh, return types. The first one it's gonna be data or response. You can call it uh, as you like, but uh, for me I call it always data. And when I get the data, that means my operation was successful. So uh, the login was successful. But if the backend uh, or the REST API raises uh, an exception or an error we can catch it here by providing this error. So for the error here, uh, we are displaying the, the messages that we are seeing here are catched here. So uh, this is my error object, which is this parameter, this errors, this uh, array of strings. And now I check if I have uh, these errors returned by the backend. So this is the error, and here the second object is the exception returned by uh, by the REST API, and the errors is the um, is the string of messages or the sorry is the array of strings I defined to to store the messages. So one once everything is good, so I just here uh, will push or will uh, fill uh, my array of errors. So, and now, now, once everything, once we catch an error, it's gonna be displayed here. And now let's go and check the alert, the, uh, the to-do alert. The to-do alert is a really simple, uh, simple component, which is uh, a div with a class alert, which is defined here. And I will explain it uh, really quick. So uh, here we have an ng class, and we will loop the content, which is defined here. This is the content. And the important or the interesting part here is, may, you may ask the question at the beginning, how can I create my custom parameters inside a component and pass them from a component to another? So on the to-do component, I have this content here and the alert type. As you can see here, content and alert type. Now we can we need to annotate them with the input annotation to tell Angular that those uh, those are inputs for my component, and then we can do whatever we want with these uh, with these uh, values or inputs. So let's go back to the HTML part. So here the other the other type is this one. This is the alert type, and by default, it's an error. You can change it. You can make it, for example, by default, is uh, info as default. So now we are here, and then I will loop the messages of my content, and I will just display them. And the rest, the rest is some CSS part, and I will show it also. So here, when I pass this alert type and as we see here i passed here as an error when i add ng class here we will have in our css or uh, in the generated html it's going to be alert space the ng class we passed as we can see here so i will inspect this element and show show you what do we have so so we have here alert and warning because 
it was warning before. And for example, if I make it error, it's gonna turn red. If I make it success, for example, uh, wait, let me check the name. Uh, ah, sorry, the success, I, I forgot to, to update the colors. So if I make it dark, for example, it's gonna also change as we can see here. So let's go back uh, here for the alert for this div or for this container. I have like a 5px uh, padding, border radius 5px to have like the, these uh, rounded corners and a margin bottom, this, this space here after each, uh, each panel is two pixels. And then for the for each error type, we ha I just defined the, the color, the background color, and the, the color. This is the color of the display text. This is the background and the border colors. Here, for example, if I put this back to error, we can see. I will just zoom a little bit. Ah, it's not working. Good. So here we have we define the border color and the background color. So this is the alert component. This is really easy peasy. And now let's go back to our login uh, login component. So here in in here as I as I told you, once we catch uh, an exception or an error thrown by the backend, so we will display the error messages. Else, if everything is fine and the username and password are correct, what we will do is we will sto store the logged, the logged user and then we will store it in the local uh, storage. So if we refresh the page, so we, the user st will still always connect it. And if everything is good, we will navigate to the to-do list page. Here, let's try it. Let's try it out. When I do login, so uh, I think my backend is not running. Whatever. So when I do, uh, when I um, when I click on login, if every everything is okay, I will store the user and then navigate to the to do list. And it's also the same for the subscribe part. For the subscribe, I need to subscribe a user with the first name, last name, username, email, and password. And it's the same here. I have my card. I have my card here. Here I have the title. I have also the alert. When I click just sign up, I have like uh, the error messages to display and the error as error type. And I have all those material fields. Uh, first name, last name, username, uh, email, and password. And here I define them or I map them to to the user DTO, which is which is defined here as the user DTO. And to update or to save the user or to do the subscription, it's the same as described in the login. So I call the method save user. Sorry for the misspelling here. Update and here save. So you can uh, just rename them, uh, rename them both to save user, and we pass this user DTO. And just to to mention, the mapping is um, is done automatically by Angular, so you don't need to do anything else except adding this ng module, ng module, and you map it to the any variable you want uh, you want to use. So if everything is okay, if the subscription uh, is successful. So uh, I will store the user DTO. Also, I will store the logged user, and I will store it in the local uh, local storage. And I will navigate the user to the to do list page. If in case of error, it will it will be the same. We will display those error messages. So this is all about uh, those two components: uh, the login and the, the login and the sign up. See you in the next lecture.